My little one. Hello, hello. Javier, welcome on. Rocky, welcome on. <sighs> no. <laughs> Who's this woman? Hi, my name is Caitlin. She's my soulmate. Hello. It's 8.47 a.m. Sweet. Where are you at? No. Kiss yourself. Go kiss yourself in the mirror. <laughs> there what time? Uh, It's like... Oh, God, it's 1.30 a.m. Is that? No, it must be my timer because I had set for an hour and a half. Oh. It's about 11 o'clock, 20 after 11. Suck it, Shirlene, or whatever the hell your name is. I don't have time to read it. You seem like you already have shelter for a minute. We have it for like another three days. Are you guys homeless? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really tough because Kate could have a job and she wants to go back to college, which I finally talked her into. So that's good. <laughs> She's like, I was like, do you want to keep living like this? She's like, no. So I'm like, there's an option. <laughs> and, you know, they'll provide a stipend for housing, which is something we can share. And then with the money that I make, I can use it for half the rent and for uh, food. Welcome on, Jasmine. I like your hair. Thank you. What are we going to do after three days? N nothing. This is my point. We're not okay. And my family is shit. Her family is shit. And we're out here sitting here trying to figure out what the hell to do. Like, I know how to survive out there on my own. But Kate, she's tiny. She's tiny, and she and, and I have anxiety. I have a lot of trouble sleeping because I'm afraid for her. It, uh, it's not, it doesn't work out there, you know? And it's, we can do so well. And I mean, me personally, I could keep a job. I definitely could keep a job. Like if I have a fake name, I maybe have an alias, I don't know. But I'm willing to try anything at this point because the drama isn't worth it. I mean, living like this is a fucking joke and there's no reason to live like this. And I don't have to live like this. Both of us are willing to go to work. Kate will go to college and we'll just do normal stuff while we get our bearings. And, and honestly, for me, it's doing it out of spite. Certain pieces of it, I'm doing it out of fucking spite because for the last time I had a conversation with a family member tonight and you know what? They don't deserve me. They don't deserve me. I'm going to say it that simply. They don't fucking deserve me. Because I use the word fuck. That I'm, I'm not worth it. Well, then fuck you. You know? Pieces of shit losers. I come, I come from inbred shit stock. And you know what? I can't turn back. I can never turn back. Because what's in my blood, that's, that's some good shit. I got some good shit in my blood. But I'll tell you what, I grew up, I grew up in a bad place and I know it and I don't fucking care who says otherwise. I know my story. I know how I feel when I think about my past in my childhood. I know how I fucking feel. And no matter what anybody else tells me how my experience went, you don't fucking know. It was shit. It was a pressure cooker. I found a way through and sometimes anger did drive me. Because that's all I had. Judge me, bitch. I survived. 
to anybody out there judging me. Keep judging. Keep losing. Because that's what fucking losers do. They sit back and they judge when they don't fucking know. They're losers. And I fucking, I can't stand losers. But you know what? The world's full of them. I got a lot of angst right now. A lot of anger. It's not necessarily towards you guys. But I'm going to project it a little bit. Because I got to let it out. I have to vent. you guys make me feel comfortable enough to be able to share this stuff on live stream. That's a skill. This is a safe space for me. Even with, even with all of it, it's still a safe space for me. Safer than my home was. So let that speak for you that I feel more comfortable saying this stuff on live stream in front of the world while people crap on me nonstop. Then I felt having my own voice in the home that I grew up in. Let that tell you something about how I was raised and what my environment was like, what it was really fucking like. People hear the word fuck out of my mouth and they want to automatically judge me as if you know me. I'm not unintelligent because I use the F word. I'm so angry that I can't even I can't even like convey it in words anymore. And I'm not going to take it out on anybody, okay? Because family, we all know how family gets to us more than anybody else. Right? It's like they could just cut to that bone and they know they're pissing you off. And I'll tell you what, those motherfuckers are lucky. They're weak pieces of shit. They are lucky that they're nothing. They're lucky that they're nothing. They're no fucking threat. They're not. But you know what? They kept me in fear throughout my childhood. And now I'm an adult and I know better. Can't fucking control me. What do you think happens when you raise a kid hyper-religious, you don't teach him shit, you tell them to be afraid of everything in their environment. And then when they don't perform in the way that you say the first time you say it. That they rebel against you. I'm not the fucking rebel. Do some goddamn research on your own religion. I'm not the rebel. Get educated. Javier says, what are you guys going to do after three days? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what's Kate going to major in, says Jasmine? Well, if we survive the next three months, what are you going to major in, Kate? If, or do you not want to talk about it? Um, you, seriously, you don't have to. I don't want to talk about it. She doesn't want to talk I, about I it. I have a major pick, though. She, Kate, Kate does have her path picked. You guys should get a van. We have 15 bucks. We have 15 bucks and we can't even get a job. You know? It's impossible to even get by at this point. Evie says, you guys should get, yeah, you guys should get a van. Houseless but not homeless. A van would be awesome, but we don't have, like I said, I'm a, I'm a resourceful dude, but we are at a point where it's like I would have to lie for us to get what we want more quickly without having to live out on the street or like I said, or the kindness of someone, but people don't want to be kind to me. The content was gaslit and they think, Oh, well look at his tickets punched and the coffin is sealed, but it's, it's not, it's not. And I'll tell you what, after we suffer through whatever we have to suffer through, when we make it to the other side, those motherfuckers are going to look at me and try to say, oh, hey, see, he made it through and now we respect him. I'm going to say uh, cease, and desist, cease and desist, bitch. Don't open your mouth about me again. There are so many people that don't have me pissed off. They don't have me pissed off. They want to get me pissed off. And it is such a fucking stupid move. 
because I don't throw fists. You disappear legally. Like when I have money, I said this to Kate when we were off screen is I pray that when I have money, that my heart is healed and that I'm in a better place. Because if it's not, I will legally ensure that the people that have done these things to me and who just fucking walked away from it, they're going to be buried in legal fees. And when they're finally sit, laying in a bed with bed bugs in a motel paid for by a generous benefactor that I'm supposed to be just It's funny how the world will say be grateful. But then we run into these systems and we treat each other so poorly. And then people wonder why so many of these famous people are such dicks. And why they promote stuff that destroys your children. Because they're so fucking angry about how they're treated. And I was too. And I'm still mad about how I'm treated. But I'm not going to let that corrupt how I do things. I'm still going to do things well. And I'm going to do them with love. But just know that that malice is in my heart too. And it is well deserved. But I'm going to do my best to be responsible with it and not take it out on people that don't deserve it. But whether or not I take it out legally on the people that do deserve it, I don't know yet. I haven't decided that yet. But I will say to those people... I hope you don't get sleep at night. I hope you think on it. I hope you I hope you worry the way that I've had to worry my whole life. Whether or not I'm going to be okay in the future. Well, now you're going to have to fucking worry whether or not you're going to be okay in the future. Because you can't bury me. No matter how hard you fucking try. And I do challenge you to fucking try. I do. And Caitlin, I love you. Caitlin, I love you. Don't slow me down. I'm not fucking scared. That's the difference is I'm not scared. I fucking invite it. Bring it as hard as you fucking can and watch how when I get on the other side and there's breath in my goddamn lungs, you bitches will be sitting on your ass. That's real talk. It's not a goddamn bluff. People want to call my goddamn bluff. Keep calling it. You'll be calling it till I'm dead because I don't have a death wish. I'm aware that I'm alive. And I think more, more people need to wake up to the fact that they're living. Wake up, people. Life is short. Very fucking short. A lot of these narcissists act like they have forever. I know I don't have forever. So I say bring it to me now because I don't have the fucking time to waste for later. Says, how do I make money? On YouTube. And here when the super arts come in. And on TikTok when the stickers pop up. Shut up, bitch. What's my plan? Don't have one. Guys, you can't make a plan when you have, when there's no ability to make a plan. For anybody with a safe, safe home and a roof over your head, you can plan. You can't plan when you don't have money. When the second someone doesn't like you, they cut you off and disappear from your life. There's no opportunity to be resourceful when you've been cut off. From society. It's not possible. That's something. I used to plan, 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 plan. After being with Jim. Okay, I guarantee you they can't hear a word. Oh. And and right now, you, I love you, but I'm letting you know you sound like a brainwashed girlfriend. Oh. Remember remember the girl that we met? That was... Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, you sound like her right now. Oh. Just letting you know. Sorry. You don't have to... You, you apologizing, too, makes you sound brainwashed. Just letting you know. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Thank you for letting me know. Yep. Don't try to defend me because I'm I'm when I ask for the problems, I defend myself. <laughs> right? You defending me, I appreciate that. But it's like I got you. It's not your job. I got you. Okay. You you got me. You're out of your depth with this. Yeah. And that's why we need to get on our shit. Because this isn't fair to Kate and people can't fucking blame me for being nice enough to let her get in a car 
when her parents were pieces of shit. I saved her goddamn life. And now we're trying to figure it out together. While all these narcissists, fucking psychopaths sit back at home, sitting on their ass, committing their crimes behind closed doors as if nobody knows. Pe- people know what you are. Don't you worry. When you go to church, people know what the fuck you are. You're not hiding from anybody. The first time I sat in mass with you, I knew what you were. I just knew your daughter was fucking different. I'll say that to the rest of you. I sound, I sound uneducated. I sound stupid. I get it. I'm mad. Anger can make people sound dumb. Y'all should come to Florida. It's low cost of living. That would be nice. I'm not nearly as mean to regular. I'm not really all that mean a person. I'm a very, very nice person. I have been treated astronomically terrible. I have been treated like a fucking scum rag on the floor. And I've never been treated different than that. Okay. And I still make an effort to be nice. I still try my hardest. I'm not fucking weak. I'm way stronger than most of these bitches trying to tell me I'm weak. Stand in front of me. You'll cower. Fucking bitch. Honestly. Like, try me for half a second. See how fucking big you are. This is what people want to do. Is they want to sit behind the goddamn screen. Tell me how big they are. You couldn't square up if you wanted to. And if you did, you'd probably come with a weapon. Because you're a pussy. This is what people do. They think they're so fucking tough. Violence. Because you're weak. Weak people turn to violence. Violence is a last resort, people. And we need to learn that. But guess who guess what? Oh, uh, I'm I'm a big tough thug. I'm going to I'm going to just take what I want. Uh well, it belongs to somebody else. That's that's called a crime. First off, and whether it's not a whether or not it's a fucking crime. All right, let's take away law. Who's more mature, the man who knows how to build the tool or the man who's right and bashing over someone else's head? I don't even know how to talk anymore. Like at this point, I'm just talking in circles. And I know I am because I'm so fucking mad. I just want you guys to know how I fucking feel. I just want you to know how I feel. My feelings have been nothing but fucking ignored for a very long fucking time. My feelings are fucking valid. Very valid. Very valid. And now you know that. They are. They are. And any of you stupid people sitting back at home just laughing at me, guess what? Your IQ, more than likely super low. If you have the inability to connect with a human being who's throwing his heart on a platter for you, you're weak. And you probably don't exist all that much. And I would recommend going and getting some help with your dissociative issues. Dissociative issues. I want to connect with you. Takes two. But to be here and not connect... You got a fucking problem. I want to connect. And I'm letting you know how I feel. What state do I want to live in? One where there's a roof over my head. Caitlin and I are respected and treated as human beings. And that we can immerse ourselves in a healthy community. Kate can go to college. She can go to work. If I can find a way to hold work. And without dealing with constant harassment from coworkers or being harassed by people from the internet, I go to work other than social media. Or like I said, just, just me being able to do the social media, but preferably the first one, because I got a lot of spite right now. I'm really fucking angry. I'd like to make extra money just to say, fuck you. I'm, I'm serious. I'm just so done. I've never wanted fuck you money in my life, but I officially want fuck you money. I want to go and make that extra money, pay the debts off and just go to normal. And this is what I said to Kate is I'd like to make extra money 
until we get to a point where Kate and I can just settle down. And, and what I could finally rest my head, because I thought for a second that I was resting my head. Uh, Kate, can I tell them what happened? So, so Caitlin, do you want to tell them or do you want, do you not want me to say it all? I feel very embarrassed. embarrassed. All right. Don't worry about it. Kate got scammed. Kate got scammed. And I wasn't watching over her shoulder because it's, you know, she's an adult. I figured she figured out and she didn't, she didn't see what was happening. Now we didn't lose any money or anything or our identities weren't stolen. Identities weren't stolen, but it came pretty close to that. And, um, I caught it last minute and I just wish, like I said, it got her hopes up real high. It got both of our hopes up real high and it, it didn't pan out. It was a scam. And then, on my end is I reached out to a family member. And like I said, they, it's just, I'm done. I'm done with, I'm just done with trash. I'm going to call trash where trash is. I'm done with trash. And, uh, I'm not going to regret it. I wish I would. Right. I, I actually wish, I wish that was my story. I wish it was the, I'm going to say it. I wish it was the Ty Lopez story. Where that motherfucker went and made his success and then he brought his family back into it. You know, I, w I wish that I wanted them around, but they're not fucking worth it. Like, I wish that I had people in my corner or people in my past that I could pull from my past into my present who are worth having around. I, I don't have anyone like that that's worth having around. Blood or otherwise, I don't. And that fucking sucks. I am completely alone other than having Kate and I'm grateful to have Kate. Right. Um, and at the same time yet, then I don't let that be enough for me. And that's where, that's where I get unhealthy is thinking, well, what I need more now, or I need to go further. Having Kate in my life, I'm very grateful for Kate and we can have a great life together. And I don't need to seek any further than that. And I think me wanting to seek further than Kate, or ever leave Kate or anything. I think it has to do with me not reconciling my past completely. And so I want to seek out more. So I have to work through that. And it's going to take some time. But Caitlin and I had a good cry today. We had, a, we had a really, really good cry today. The both of us. Over our own stuff. Um, I think I'm finally getting over the death of, of my pop. Which I. Uh, when my pop died I didn't even cry. And I just thought I was so strong. And. No, I, I finally let it out. So that was good. That was really good. Yeah, we'll live in any state, <laughs> any state. Uh, Evie says, look into van life. I've done it for a few years. <laughs> well, it, it would be good. We had our chance on that. Never know, though. Jasmine said, I heard Florida is nice. EVA says, rent in Florida can be as cheap as $100 a day, $100 a month. $100 a month. We'll have to take, I'll have to take a look. I'll go Google it. Get a job, earn a living. Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I will. All right. I just got a snap from somebody. That might be one person who's half decent. Half decent, dude. There my okay. I don't want to blanket just yet and say that there's nobody from my past that I wouldn't want in my present or my future. I don't want to say there's nobody, but but in times like this, it can be very hard to. Guys, I've I've been fighting for so long. All right, I've been fighting just to survive because I thought I had to, and and now I know that I could relax, and I don't have to fight anymore. The screenshots aren't going to do it for me because, like, I, I really, I recognize that I can finally relax. FBA so. says average is six hundred dollars in Florida. EB says your girlfriend can get a job at Starbucks easily. I can help get her in. You can probably get one too. That'd be great. Like I said, it's, <laughs> it's, it's. It is a point of humility, and 
Guys, I want you, I'm going to say two things because I'm not letting you just walk away from it either. Is I'm going to say on one part, yeah, you guys were right. All right, you were right. You were right. Is I just have to, I have to just score to make it work. But at the, at the same time, at the same time, any of you out there who actually have a fucking car in your chest, even guys, even the ones that are sitting there, like, okay, you were right, uh, positive stuff, like, good, he's making a new leaf. You need to understand, you treated me like shit, and I almost died several times, and that is on your conscience. And if you're religious, please go to confession over it, because you fucked me up. Every little comment, more than you could even imagine. More than you could even imagine. So I just ask you to, to find it in your heart to ask, ask for forgiveness, to actually realize you, you made a huge mistake treating me the way that you did. I get your intentions. I really do get your intentions. I totally get it. But the ends do not justify the means. And, you know, you guys drug me to hell. And I almost died in real life. And most people wanted me to die just, just so I would go away and they wouldn't have to face what they did. Kate was one of them, you know, and, and she she faced what she did. And I faced, I already faced what I did immediately, almost immediately after what I did, I faced it. And it's not, it's not pretty. <laughs> and I have to say is what happened between me and Josh I don't regret a single thing that happened between Josh and I I do not regret a single choice that I made in that house in reference to him not one I stood my ground against a narcissistic, psychopathic monster who threatened our lives. He's a pedophile. He lived in our house. And there are people who still defend him. And he doesn't deserve to have his name in my mouth. And I can't wait till that motherfucker burns in hell. Kate, don't stop me. It is how I feel. I genuinely wish death upon that man. I do. I do. And that's not something I say a lot. I'll never have a hand in it. But some people don't deserve to be alive. And I've come to terms with that. It's a hard thing for me. Because I do care about people a lot. Evie says for what he's done to me and what he's done to Kate. And that's a part that you guys don't even know about. And you haven't heard from me or Josh. And a part that I'm ashamed of. I kept my eyes open every fucking night. There's a reason I never slept and it's not mania, but I did my best to, to did my best. I was a dick and I, I, I was a monster in return. You better believe it. It was the only defense that I had when he looked me dead in the eyes and said he's going to kill me. I did what I had to do, and I don't regret it. Jasmine says, I can help you with a resume. Thank you. <laughs> Having references. Yeah. That's like the, that. let's flip back to reality, right? Is here we are now. Is, um, and that's, it grew hair on my chest. I, I, it, that's fucked up to even say, though as if that's justifiable, but there will never be a person in my life that'll stand toe to toe with me and win. I will plow through any human being who ever threatens my life ever again. It's just not going to happen. And it is me who decides whether or not my life is threatened. Let me make that clear. Someone looking me in the face and saying, I'm going to kill you isn't enough for me to feel threatened anymore because I can see into a man and I know when I'm threatened and when I'm not, and I'm not usually threatened ever. So I'm finally, I'm finally growing up. Finally, finally, finally. <laughs> I'm me now. When are you going to look for a job? 
as soon as we have a stable roof over our head that's a reliable and that's that's what we have to work on now we have no other options it's it's hard that you can't keep a job if you can't make it to the job You'll learn the life skills if you get a job. You'd be surprised. It's uh, Some people learn life skills at their job. Some people don't. Um, some people have a career and they learn those life skills. Other people don't. We're not, we're not all guaranteed to learn those lessons because those lessons can be offered, but not all of us have the ability to ascertain those lessons. There are a lot of life lessons that people try to teach to me that I couldn't learn because I wasn't ready. And also that they didn't deliver in a way that I understood. I, I, I don't know if I was, you know, by definition, developmentally challenged, but there were a lot of things that I didn't get about life that I definitely should have been able to get. So. You seem smart and capable. I am. And so is Kate. Thank you very much for the compliment. And compliments are one thing, like I said, hopefully there's somebody out there willing to take us in and willing to help us sort this out um, without trying to take control of it. Because that's, that's the other hardest piece is it's not that hard to find someone who's willing to help, but it's always at some cost. Either we have to go to church or we have to suck their dick either figuratively or literally, you know, there's always some stipulation that has to do with something inappropriate that controls the way that we live. There's no one that simply accepts us, or at least that's how it feels right now. Vegas says, I was a single mom at your age. I got zero child support from my ex. I had to make fast, good money, so I cocktailed. Is that a knock at our door? I'm not sure. I don't think so. If it is, it'll get louder. I had to make fast, good money, so I cocktailed. That's cool. Good for you. Um, Shirley? Yeah, it is. All right, guys. Well, there's 231 comments here that I haven't read. So do me a favor. Send me a DM. If there's anyone willing to reach out in support, just that we get the roof over our head of consistent so that we can get back to work, let me know. I have to leave the broadcast. Everyone have a good night. Thank you.